so students today we will study the uh, next topics that is steps or process of stuffing here we will learn the how the stuffing the process of stuffing goes on first of all uh, the first point is manpower planning that means the first step of stuff processing is to estimate the manpower requirement it ensure, it is ensured that the able employees are available in the organizations to be placed in right positions at the right time that means here we plan about the manpower that is hum, staff or human beings that we require to um, do our jobs in this uh, matter uh, the employees we must see that the employees are available in an organization and those employees should be placed in the right positions at the right time so this is uh, this is the planning that we do uh, the first that is the first step of the uh, staffing next is recruitment now recruitment is the process of staffing searching for prospective employees and stimulating them to apply for jobs in the organizations this is the second step of process of staffing staffing the second step of uh, staffing is recruitment that means selecting the right people correct people or uh, sele uh, searching for the employees and stimulating them inspiring them to apply for the jobs in the organization third point is selections third point is selection selection is the third most uh, third important step of the staffing staffing involves choosing personnel to fill specific jobs in the organization on the basis of educational qualification training skill abilities and personality of the people available for the job now this third step here what we do we choose the people um, uh, people who can fill the specific jobs that is lying vacant in the organizations basing on their educational qualification training skills abilities personalities of the people available for the job so this is the third uh, steps of uh, pro, uh, steps of uh, staffing for this placement and orientation as for the terms and condition and date of joining mentioned in the appointment letter the, con the candidates has to join the duty now in the fourth step we issue an appointment letter where the candidate is informed about uh, their job selections and uh, when to join the uh, job so that is placement and orientation after the placement and orientations we put, uh, uh, according to the staffing we put the, those people into training and development this training and development program is uh, is um, um, is made available to the staff for increasing their efficiency and effectiveness next is determination of remunerations after this we determine uh, the remuneration that is salary or uh, commission or parks whatever it is uh, eco, um, uh, whatever the organizations they uh, provide that sh uh, should be fixed with uh, with uh, the point of view of works performed by them now uh, according to their work performance the remuneration is to be fixed next is performance appraisal the performance of the employees are compared with the standard sets on the basis of their performance the wages of the employees are determined now every organization has a standard set uh, set of work now if an employee's performance is according to the standard set and comparing with the standard that is set by the organizations their remunerations are fixed next is promotion and transfer now in this uh, uh, in this uh, steps uh, the competent and experienced persons of the enterprises are promoted to the higher post 
and shifting of an employees from one job to another are also the major step of uh, process uh, stuffing process now this is the last step of the stuffing process where the employees are uh, those employees which are competent and have enough experience they are either promoted to the uh, higher post or they sh they are shifted from one job to another job so these are the various steps of stuffing next we will go to the recruitment of the personnel now according to the edwin b filippo um, recruitment of labor means recruitment is the process of searching for prospective answer and stimulating them to apply for jobs in the organization the need of employees is perennial in the organizations according to him the recruitment is the process where we search for the uh, prospective employees the employees uh, which who, who we are looking for and then inspiring them to apply for the jobs and this is uh, this uh, recruitment is perennial it is long lasting long lasting in the organization that means it is a continuous process in the organization next we will see recruitment policy the recruitment policy also uh, also has a certain rules and principles which should be followed by every owner or recruiting agency that means there are certain rules and principles for the recruitment and this is to be followed by every uh, recruiting agency or the recruiting agency or the owner so what are those uh, rules let's see the rules recruitment work is a managerial pre prerogative every function relating to the recruitment should be done by the top management so that no conflicts arises in the process of recruitment that means the recruitment process that is uh, that goes on it should be done by the top management so that there should not be any conflicts in the process of recruitment next information of back end post from depart different departments the top management should uh, top management should be provided information of the back end post lying in various level so that they can start the recruitment process next is separate department for recruitment that means in every recruitment is a very important so for this exper uh, experienced and efficient recruitment personnel should be appointed and a separate department or branch should be opened according uh, in the third uh, third rules is that the persons those who are uh, are in the recruitment agency or recruitment branch they should be appointed uh, appointed for the recruitment because they have uh, the experience and uh, the efficiency to recruit the uh, recruit the proper people right people for the right job next is approval of new post now if at any point of time there is a uh, requirement of additional people or staff in the organizations that new post uh, should be created and the approval is needed to be taken from the employers next is recruitment work by a competent officers this recruitment process the work that is done in the recruitment process should be done by the competent officers competent officers means the officers which have the experience and capabilities to recruit the uh, right staff the uh, that is required the recruitment as for the work the people those who are recruited should be as for the work the work uh, keeping in mind the kind of or nature of work is to be performed the recruitment should be done without partiality now in recruitment there should not be any partiality now here partiality means discriminations among the people 
बेसिंग ऑन द रिलेटिव्स और नोन पीपल और सम स्पेशल रेफरेंसेस दिस इफ वी डू रिक्रूटमेंट विथ 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 बेसिंग ऑन दिस दिस इज पार्शलिटी डन बिटवीन द पीपल दोज हु आर कमिंग फॉर रिक्रूटमेंट सो विदाउट दिस वी हैव टू रिक्रूट द पीपल बेसिंग ऑन देयर एक्सपीरियंस देयर स्किल्स देयर एजुकेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन देयर एबिलिटीज देयर क्वालिटीज ऑल दीज थिंग्स नेक्स्ट इज सोर्स ऑफ सोर्सेस ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट सो सोर्सेस ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट वी विल स्टडी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू